Hey everybody! Wilfie here with uh, a long-awaited update. We're going to have some fun with this one. And uh, it's been a long time coming, and I apologize that I'm maybe a week or two late on uh, uh, making a video about this. I, I partly wanted to wait to see what, what other details kind of shook out uh, from the, uh, the fallout from this. And, and partly I've just been lazy. You'll notice there haven't been as many video uploads in the last few weeks. Haven't just, uh, just haven't been in the mood for it. So uh, I'm starting to crawl out of my shell again. But we have some very good news to celebrate today. Um, I obviously have a lot to say about this. But uh, there's one important message I want to get out first. And I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the big news. Wake Up Now has shut down. Um, they are ceasing MLM operations in the United States. Since that happened to be their, essentially their only revenue generating business, that means they're shutting down. So, it's done, gone, and good, uh, good riddance. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am, but like I said, I, I have a bunch of things to say about this because there's tons of juicy details, but... The big message, the first thing I want to say, um, and let's be serious here for a moment, there were a lot of people uh, over the past year and a half since I started debunking Wake Up Now um, who were pretty aggressive in defending Wake Up Now as a legitimate business. Um, a lot of them uh, tried really, really hard to uh, convince me that it was a legitimate business. Uh, quite a few of them were nasty, insulting, uh, very angry in eagerly defending their scam. And, uh, you know, I understand that part of what, uh, the reason they got so angry is that part of them knew, you know, right, right up here, there's this little voice in their head saying, this probably is a scam and this guy's probably right. And they were just trying to keep the thing going so they could recruit enough people to get their money and run. Um, so I understand their motives, their behavior, and I, I recognize that, well, like the numbers show, about 96% about of them lost money. So to those people who aggressively defended Wake Up Now to the point of hurling insults and using foul language and and being generally unpleasant. I do uh, want to say, um, in, in a completely heartfelt manner, and I really do mean this, <laughs> Suck it! Yes, I'm, I'm not really being professional or nice about this at all. Um... Those of you that were assholes about this and were had the balls to claim that this wasn't a scam, fuck you. Deep and hard, because um, you were lying sacks of shit. You were then and you are now. And you were uh, just angry that somebody was shitting on your scam parade. And uh, all the people that flagged my videos as a scam, they all got unflagged and remonetized, by the way, because I... Uh, have enough viewership now that I get I I qualify for email support through YouTube. Um, but you fuckers did everything you could to silence my criticisms, insult me, discredit me, whatever, and none of it worked, and your shit just fell over and died. Suck it. Sucks to be you. Good riddance. Um God that felt good to say. <laughs> So, I, I've got a bunch of notes over here on the other console. Um, this shutdown isn't quite as... Uh, well, it's not shaping up the way everybody thought it would. Around the 10th of February, a bunch of the supposed top earners in Wake Up Now started posting videos on YouTube because, you know, that's how you make a formal announcement these days. Idiots. Um, all of them announcing that they were leaving Wake Up Now. They're not going to stay with a sinking ship. They're not getting paid anymore. The company's going away. They're going to shut down. Blah, 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 blah. Some of them 
paid lip service to the old company saying what to wake up now saying well you know they tried it's just a bad market blah 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 but the bottom line was they weren't getting paid either and they were jumping ship because they were sick of it um and of course each of these lying sacks of shit and I'll I'll get to their names here in a bit um they're already set up in new scams they've already secured their positions and several of them with contracts meaning they won't be selling they won't be participating as affiliates they'll just be advertising for the new scams whatever they end up being and i'm going to keep track of it don't worry um so they're not going to have to bother with affiliate sales they can just peddle the bullshit for a fixed monthly fee um but other interesting developments have happened since uh and a lot of it reveals or proves all the shit we've been saying about this piece of crap scam for years now. Um, so let's see here. Looking at my at the the schedule of events, the order of events here. The shutdown was announced February 16, and the company until that point until that point, excuse me, had been maintaining radio silence. They weren't updating their blog. They weren't posting to social media. They weren't even talking to affiliates, best I, as best I can tell. Um, and all of those videos announcing that the, the, the affiliates were abandoning ship, those all came on the 10th of February. So for a good week, people were just freaking out, like, chick like beheaded chickens. Um, because their supposed cash cow looked like it was falling over and dying. Um, an interesting detail cropped up, and that is thanks to Behind MLM, the guys over at Behind MLM. I'm a little peeved with them, just a tiny bit, because one of, the, one of their articles uh, claims that they called, or they revealed the bad finances of Wake Up Now back in uh, July of 2014, when really it was me that noticed. But I don't actually care about that. The point is, the word got out, and these dickheads were exposed months ago. Almost a year ago now. And nobody bothered to pay attention because they were blinded by greed. Anyway, uh, the behind MLM guys, no hard feelings, um... <clears throat> They dug up a lawsuit that Wake Up Now filed on the 27th of January against Kirby Cochran. Kirby Cochran was the guy um, that ran the show for at least a couple of years. If you remember, a few months ago, he left and, uh, you know, all sorts of friendly, polite, professional boilerplate congratulating him on his new or you know encouraging and supporting him on his new new uh, endeavors and thanking him for his service blah 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 with uh philip pollock turning in uh, uh, to uh, to take his place as ceo um but yeah they're suing kirby cochran making all sorts of claims like he pilfered all the profit and you know defrauded the company for millions of dollars they're suing him for 70 million dollars in damages which is hilarious especially given that the company never really had any revenue approaching 70 million dollars ever they, they never made that money at all and they certainly didn't profit that much but you know maybe they're going for punitive damages too uh they accuse him of poaching existing affiliates to go work on other MLM schemes. They accused him of mismanaging the company, of funneling cash to friends and relatives through shell corporations, which really is just standard practice within uh, corporate America. That's how you get around the... Uh, uh, well, sorry, that's how you get away with, with getting paid one dollar a year as an executive, as CEO. You, you funnel you get your real pay as a contractor through a shell company that you run, but that's another story. So they accuse Cochran of all sorts of shit. 
And this had been going on, apparently, for years. So that lawsuit admits a bunch of very interesting things, and I'll get to that in a minute. But what I want to point out here um, is that there were lots of people pointing to Kirby Cochran as being credible, being the perfect leader for Wake Up Now, and someone to look up to. The company was saying it, the affiliates, the people selling Wake Up Now to other people, you know, the, the spammers, um, they were all singing Cochran's praises. He uh, you know, supposedly had a great history at running these companies. As it turns out, his, his history was running those companies into the ground, but they leave those three words off when they're talking him up. So the company was doing it. The, uh, the affiliates were all saying nice things about him, and good old Troy Dooley was saying good things about him. Of course, we know that's because he was being paid to, but I'll get to that in a bit, too. Um, it's just fascinating that even as he departed... They were saying nice things about him. They were using him as a reason to trust Wake Up Now. He was credible. And he wanted everybody, or they wanted everyone to believe that, that he lent credibility to the business. As they watched him in private, supposedly pilfering every single dime that he could get his paws on. And I find that hilarious. Even as he supposedly robbed them blind... These lying sacks of shit were saying all sorts of nice, happy things. Oh, yeah, we're fine. There's no problems. You know, there's lots of money. Everybody's getting paid. We're creating wealth. Sign up now. It's all happy, fun times. And, of course, they were wrong. Now, let's, let's get into some names here. Um, oh, no, no, no. First, uh, the, the interesting bit from the lawsuit is the admission by the company and its attorneys that practically all of its sales were to affiliates. This notion of retail sales was complete horseshit. They practically sold nothing. And they admit this by claiming that, um, or stating rather, that when Cochran started poaching affiliates from them, it hurt their sales. And that was because people bought from Wake Up Now only as affiliates. I need to adjust something here. Uh-oh. Uh Wrong thing. Stand by. Where the hell is... <laughs> Autofocus! There we go. <laughs> I was looking a little blurry there. I want you to see my skanky ass in full 720p. Anyway... Um, so yeah, they practically admit, or they do admit rather, in the lawsuit that they were mostly, that they were almost all sales were being generated from affiliates. Just people who'd already paid to join were essentially the only people paying for the crap they sold. Nobody in the retail channel at all was really buying their product. And nobody is, and nobody's going to. So yeah, again... Lying sacks of shit. You don't have your product in retail stores. You don't have customers banging the door down uh, for the chance to buy your stupid-ass energy drinks. All, all of it was lies. Big shocker. So, on to names. The, uh, the, the, the five prominent people who posted videos all saying that they were leaving Wake Up Now uh, they all had about the same message, which is really interesting. It, and they all posted around the same time, which leads me to suspect that this was all very carefully orchestrated, or at least planned. They all sat down with the Wake Up Now guys, settled on a story to tell, and they pretty much all stuck to the script. Um, and the reason that happens is, like I said, these guys are already signed up and ready to shill the next big scam. And the Wake Up Now guys are already starting a new scam. And I uh, 
I think it's called Wealth Generators, but I'll have to do some more digging, and I'll be debunking these, too, as soon as I find them. Um, <clears throat> but the, uh, the story is always the same, and it's Brandon Boyd, Logan Shippey, uh, of course, old Greg, Gregory Perdriel, uh, Rick Almeida, and then, of course, Grand Idiot Eric Turner, a.k.a. Seymour Green. Now, each of these lying shitbags spent at least a year, some of them more, hyping the hell out of Wake Up Now. Promising the moon, oh, if you join, you're going to live like me. Driving these fancy rental cars and, uh, you know, that, that fancy house behind me. Totally didn't rent it for the day. That's actually mine. See me flying around on these, on these private jets? I own this. I totally didn't just, you know, get a chartered flight paid for by Wake Up Now to make it look like I'm really rich and famous. It's all the same shit. We heard it all. And most of them went and insulted people who didn't buy into the bullshit. Anyone who called it a, a scam got the same treatment I did. Um, and these people just kept lying with those shit-eating grins of theirs. Telling people to keep persevering. You, you know, push through it. You're going to make your money. Just keep working the, working the game. And, uh, you know, you put the work in and it'll, you'll reap the benefits. Some of these assholes were still peddling Wake Up Now as hard as they could. As late as February of this year, they started posting their, their goodbye videos on the 10th. And uh, I forget which one it was. I think it was uh, Eric Turner. Doesn't really matter. They were all posting videos promoting Wake Up Now as recently as the 6th of February. So these guys knew they were going to be leaving. But they still pitched this damn thing. They were still trying to rope in victims. Even as they knew themselves that the money had dried up and nobody was going to get paid anymore. The reason we know this is that the complaints, the explanation that all of these scumbags gave as to why they were leaving, well, they were all owed hundreds of thousands of dollars in affiliate payments. And they hadn't been paid in months because of supposedly some stupid uh, software issue that, uh, I, I guess, clogged everything up and magically stopped Wake Up Now from paying any of its affiliates. Payments started going missing around August of last year, apparently. <clears throat> so these jackasses <clears throat> peddled Wake Up Now for five months, knowing that they weren't even getting paid themselves, all the while lying to people saying, oh yeah, you're going to make tons of money with this thing, and conveniently not disclosing that yeah, they're not paying me right now either. So, again, lying sacks of shit. And this assumes that you believe them in the first place that they were really owed any money. And I think we all know just exactly how far uh, uh, to trust what they have to say. That is, not at all. Hello, cat. Uh... Quit rubbing the mic, Stan, you little rodent. <laughs> go on, go play. He wants out, and I'm not letting him out because he's in trouble today. So, <clears throat> that leads us to the next, uh, the next scumbag to talk about, and, and this one deserves special attention because of, just because of how he's behaving. Um, and that's Troy Dooley. In case you're watching, um, I imagine at some point someone will mention to you that I, you know, badmouthed you. Uh, don't bother trying to reply here. You're blocked, and you're blocked from my account, banned from my channel. I don't want to hear from you anymore, because I've heard enough, and I'm sick of the doublespeak that you're full of. <clears throat> um, Troy Dooley was punished or sanctioned by the SEC about a year and a half ago for his endorsement of Zeke Rewards, which turned out to be one of the biggest pyramid scams uh, in United States history. 
it's still in receivership. There is an active... Uh-oh, here come the maintenance guys. So you might hear some lawnmower sounds. Um, it turned out to be one of the biggest scams in American history, and it's still... Uh, the lawyers working on claw, doing clawbacks, getting that money back to investors, uh, that's still happening. That's ongoing. But uh, Troy Dooley was caught shilling for them publicly without disclosing that they were paying him. And uh, the SEC fined him $6,000 and ordered him never to do that again. That is, peddle without disclosing. So, of course, being the obedient sheepdog that he is, but drawn to that juicy, juicy MLM shilling money, um, he joined, or he, he jumped on to Wake Up Now's payroll. Of course, they paid him as a contractor. Because that's the sort of technicality that he'll argue, because he thinks it matters. <clears throat> wow, that's a big machine. Uh, anyway. Um... So he was on their payroll, <clears throat> ostensibly to review their compensation plan. Which is stupid, because he's just a guy that shills for MLM schemes and scams. And to, to sanity check a compensation plan, you use lawyers. Uh, so he was, it's complete bullshit. There, there was no, no way in, a, in hell that he was there to help with compliance. Because he's not compliant anyway. He's got a track record with the SEC, for Christ's sake. <clears throat> but anyway, he um, he joined their ranks and started peddling Wake Up Now. The interesting thing is, before they started paying him, he claimed that it was a very dubious and potentially scammy uh, venture that he warned people against joining. But now suddenly, with... Uh, nice fat checks coming from them every month, they suddenly became an awesome opportunity that people ought to consider. <clears throat> now, he also said, amusingly, that uh, Kirby Cochran was somebody that he looked up to, who commanded respect and, and was really the best person to head up Wake Up Now and really made it the credible business that it was. <laughs> What a piece of shit. He looked up to the guy that's now accused of pilfering millions of dollars from the company in the first place and running it into the ground, and he claimed that, you know, Wake Up Now was worth investing in and had lots of credibility, and now the company has told every single affiliate to go fuck themselves. Nobody's getting paid. Go away now. Great job, Troy. You, you did a good job peddling those... Uh, Hurting those victims right into the uh, into the mall, fucking asshole. Um, now I talked with him, if you can call it that, um, a couple weeks ago when the rumors of this shutdown and bankruptcy started coming, and the way the guy talks, in his comments and on his videos, he doesn't say anything. He's one of the scummiest people. I've ever interacted with. He doesn't talk like a person. Or at least, he doesn't engage in conversation. He acts like he's being cross-examined. Because he's always careful. He, he spends more time explaining what he didn't say or what he didn't mean than actually talking about anything relevant. And it's, it's because you know he's practicing. He's either been questioned by the SEC, you know they're digging into his ass again. I have no doubt that he's on somebody's shit list, and he's probably not going to squirm out of this one. Even though he thinks he's clever enough to do it, I don't think so. He's, you know, he's not been careful enough. But he's, he's just that kind of slime ball that you can just tell when you watch him speak or when you read what he's typed everything he says is very carefully phrased or, or he thinks and he, he acts like he's super clever about never making a committal statement I and among the things that really stood out to me 
were his claims that, oh, I never told anybody to invest. I never made anybody invest. Nobody said you made anybody do anything, you shitbag. You're talking it up like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Gosh, nobody's going to follow that recommendation. Everybody that did was a stupid idiot, because I never said they should invest. I just said this was a great investment. It's that kind of bullshit. Um, so he's busy backpedaling like a fucking madman. And the best I can tell, he is scared out of his fucking mind <clears throat> that he's going to get spanked much harder this time by the SEC. You know, you piss him off once on a small scale, you, you get the little wrist slap that he got the first time. I think they find him... He got paid six grand to shield for Zeke. And uh, they, they find him $6,000. The idea being... You fucked up. You don't get to profit from what you did. He's been on Wake Up Now's payroll for a long time now. And with everything that's come to light lately, his, you know, the, the behavior of Kirby Cochran, the obviously terrible, scammy performance of Wake Up Now as a company, and all the shit it's pulling now, and that it's admitted in this lawsuit and all this crap coming out, for Troy Dooley to have been recommending it and talking up its CEO like he was the next savior, um, he's fucked. He's really up shit's creek, and he knows it. So he's done his best. He's really scrambling to distance himself from all those, all those endorsements he made of the company and the people running it. And I gave up talking to him because he just keeps repeating the same bullshit in different words every time. And it's so delightful to watch the little bastard squirm. Uh, and, you know, just on a personal note, it feels fucking fantastic um, that the company folded and has fallen apart with horrible finances, just as I predicted. Uh, because he posted a video subsequent, you know, following up on my claim that, well, here's their finances, they're up Shit's Creek. He posted a follow-up explaining why all those terrible numbers didn't mean anything. The company's doing great. And it fucking closes down six months later because, shocker, shocker, its finances are in the toilet. So fuck you, Troy. You're a lying sack of shit. We caught you, and I can't wait to read about your next punishment from the SEC. And I'll be watching, because that shit's funny. Alright, so I've been babbling about this for... Well, 27 minutes, according to Baron Von Computer. 28 minutes, rather. <clears throat> so I guess I'll wrap this up. I spent a lot of time, you know, bitch-slapping Troy, I suppose. Maybe that's uncalled for. Nah, it really was. Fucker deserves it. Um, so, where to from here? Well, Wake Up Now is sunk. Their, their stock is trading at about 60 cents a share, which is just wonderful. Um... That lawsuit should play out either very interesting or very boring. I know that's a terrible prediction. It's either going to be hilarious, where you know all sorts of nitty-gritty details and dirty laundry gets aired, and we're going to find out just how much people got bribed to say great things about this scam, and just how deep the scam ran, or it'll quietly settle out of court, never to be mentioned again. Um... And that makes me think, it's really interesting that they're fighting over the profit that Wake Up Now made. Remember, they're not paying their affiliates anymore. They're fighting over what they should be... They're fighting over what they should have been paying you. If you were a Wake Up Now member, you should be pretty pissed about that. Especially if they owed you money. Now they don't. That money they owed you, they're fighting over who gets to keep it. And it ain't you. That should piss you off. You should be complaining to the FTC. You should, the Federal Trade Commission. You should be complaining to the SEC, the Securities Exchange Commission, about Wake Up Now, and specifically about Troy Dooley. More so than the other shitbags that were peddling this thing, because he knew better. Um, but really... People like Brandon Boyd, Logan Shippey, Gregory Perdrill, Rick Almeida, and Eric Turner, or Seymour Green, they deserve 
to have spotlight shown on them too because they're just as guilty as anybody else using their ridiculous like over i think overstated celebrity status to flat out lie about this thing rope in new victims and line their own pockets with the money they helped steal from tens of thousands of people if you're one of wake up now's victims if you can afford an attorney get one if you have any way of organizing among yourselves with other wake up now victims organize a class action lawsuit you should have your hat in the ring for this upcoming fight over who gets to keep wake up now's ill-gotten gains and you deserve to have some of it back and yes that even applies to the scumbags out there who said nasty shit to me but lost their shirts in the process you know i laughed and mocked you but yeah you should go scramble for a piece of that pie too because yeah it's funny you lost your money but yeah kind of sucks to lose your money so go get it make sure you complain to the federal trade commission about the company and make sure you complain to the sec about the various people who shilled for it um, and never really disclosed that they were being paid to say good things about the scam <clears throat> uh, next steps for me naturally all of these dirt bags are aggressively peddling new scams or they're setting up to there's always a little bit of lull between when they abandon one scam and jump on to the next because if they do it too quick people catch on even the slow ones and uh, they, they want to have this air about them that they're they're winded they're catching their breath and then they're gonna come back stronger than ever and ah crap here comes the blower so um, as soon as they get their next scam machine spun up I'll start digging into those and debunking them as well um, I'm not a fan of just debunking one scam and the people shilling for it without making sure to remind new victims of a new scam what the peddlers used to say about the last scam. And uh, so you can look forward to more videos from me on that subject uh, in the coming months. It'll be a while before we talk about this subject again. But for now, ding dong, wake up now's dead, fucking died, yes it did. We can all celebrate and dance over the grave of a really shitty, nasty pyramid scheme that didn't deserve to last as long as it did. So, uh, yeah, that does it for me for this one. Uh, called it. Predicted this a year and a half ago. I'm proud to say I was right. And, um, yeah, enjoy this victory, folks. It was hard-earned. And, um... I appreciate everybody who actually supported me throughout this silliness. And um, if you're considering joining a multi-level marketing scheme, you need to look at Wake Up Now and take in the whole picture to really understand why MLM is a scam. They strung people along for years, and now they've left them high and dry. 96% of everyone who joined lost money. Only 1 in 25 people made any profit at all. It's not going to work. If you join an MLM scheme, you're not going to make money. Period. The people making money are already in the scam. They're already at the top. They're either being paid to say nice things about the scam or they're at the top of the pyramid getting all sorts of money from affiliate sales. That's it. There's no room for people to make more money after it's all set up. And that happens at the beginning. You didn't get in early enough. You can't get in early enough. There's no chance that you'll make money with any kind of MLM scam. Stay away. Look at how much these people lied the people promoting wake up now from the new entries the people that had never sold anything before that just joined their first MLM look at their enthusiasm now ask them six months later or even right now how you feeling about wake up now right now have you woken up yet <clears throat> 
don't fall for it. They're going to try to convince you that your friends and family just don't trust her, or just want you to fail. That critics are just jealous. That nobody understands except the special few who join. It's bullshit. All of it. And what we're seeing today, right now from Wake Up Now, is exactly what happens every time an MLM spins up and eventually shuts down. No exceptions. It always goes like this. Every time. So, please, if you listen, if you take away nothing else from this video, please think really hard about joining an MLM before you do it. And don't. Don't join the damn thing. You're going to lose your money. Um, so that's it, guys. That's, that's really all I have to say. Um, wake up now's dead. Good riddance to bad rubbish. And uh, I'll be back to continue dogging the infamous assholes that peddled this thing. Because undoubtedly they're ready to start a new scam and they're just waiting for the right time to spin it up. Thanks for your support, everybody who did support me. And um, yeah, I think that does it. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.